what is going on out there peeps all right <laughs> i still got people asking me why i call xrp the new world order crypto i i've explained it many times i've even shown you the ceo brad garlinghouse saying they're going to do what it takes to accommodate the new world order i showed you another video in which he said he wants to be part of the new world order he said XRP Ripple, they will be the new SWIFT 2.0. But let's bring it back just a little bit, just a little bit, okay, before we get into that. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Money Metals Exchange. The link will be down below in the description. If you are a first time buyer and you spend more than $100, use promo code PIMPY SILVER. Yes, it has changed. P I M P Y S I L V E R. So if you're watching this video and it's an older video, make sure you check on current videos because the code is going to be changing from time to time from now on. Also, I can be found on other platforms. Everybody knows I have my own website, Pimpy's News Network. Over here, I post videos that I can't get away with over on YouTube. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Pimpy's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. Come on over here and join us. It's free to do so. You can also come follow me on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, and Odyssey. The links for all these platforms will be down below in the description. So for whatever reason, if I get removed off of one platform, you could find me on the others. I remember for geez, decades now, people talking about how the Illuminati, the New World Order, they were coming to get us. And that our job was to do what it took to remove them out of power and to not be deceived by these people. The evil bankers, remember this? We needed to find a way for us to get away from the Federal Reserve. Because people don't know the Federal Reserve is not a governmentally owned bank. It's privately owned. The Great Reset is the NWO. They even tell you so. They are the New World Order. They don't even hide it anymore. I mean, I spoke about it. We knew they were hidden in the shadows. How not only these people out of the shadows, but they're jumping around in the spotlight for the whole world to see. So I remember when people were first talking about cryptocurrency. The things that people liked about cryptos. It was peer-to-peer, -peer. the fees were cheap, total anonymity, no government sticking their nose in your business, no taxes, no regulations. This is what made crypto so popular, but this person covers it a little bit. I won't keep the volume on because it has a little bit of music in the background. Cryptocurrencies are decentralized digital currency, a medium of exchange. It is not issued by any central bank or financial institution. These were the things that people were attracted to. It could be bought and sold at present price fluctuations. In other words, you could become a millionaire off cryptocurrencies, and that happened. That was another thing that drew people to cryptocurrencies. It was real easy to transfer. Well, it's definitely easier now than it was back then. And you didn't need any third party. So, like, if you're going to go do Telegram, MoneyGram, Western Union, the fees are pretty high. It's a pain in the butt to go down to there, fill out some paperwork, show them your license, do what you need to do. With cryptocurrencies, it's real simple. You have a crypto address, you send it to them, no problem. Fees are really cheap. This was another thing about cryptocurrencies that were appealing. This is just oversimplifying things for the most part. I remember when I heard about them, so many people saying, hey, this is going to be the new banking system. We weren't going to deal with the evil bankers no more. You can stick the middle fingers to people like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, the Federal Reserve. We're going to get away from all of those New World Order Illuminati people. Remember this? Because some people forgot. But again, the total anonymity was a huge draw to cryptocurrencies. Heck, if you just go through here and try to look, there's a lot of subjects just on it. anonymity alone. Are big, is Bitcoin anonymous? Anonymity? Buy your Bitcoin anonymously? Look at 
everybody wanted to be able to do business. Now, we all know what happened. Bitcoin was used for the Silk Road on the dark web in which people were doing all kinds of nefarious and illegal activities, buying drugs, prostitution, pornograph, you know, pedophilia crap on there. But they used it as a way to lure people in. Peer-to-peer, low fees, total anonymity, no taxes, no regulations, no government, and no evil bankers all up in your business. That was the appeal about cryptocurrencies. Now all of a sudden, people are just licking at the chops. They're more than happy now to become bed partners with the same evil bankers that they bitched and complained about. XRP is the new world order. There are plenty of videos out there about it. But let's listen to this gentleman here. I want to shout out to Ruben who brought this guy to my attention. He's definitely an XRP pumper. But I want you to hear what he has to say. How proud and happy he is that XRP is going to take over the banking industry. Listen. So let's kick it off. Okay, so XRP, this was this came out from Finance Fed. Um, XRP versus a Ripple lawsuit. All eyes on JP Morgan Crypto Economy Forum tomorrow. So I'm trying to figure out a way to watch this forum. So there's actually a JP Morgan Crypto Economy Forum going on tomorrow. And I just love how people, when they say cryptocurrency is a fraud, it just blows my mind. I mean, they're literally having forums about it. They're all getting ready. They're all trying to figure out how to move into this quantum financial system. Not trying to figure out, excuse me how to slowly and methodically get themselves set up as the public moves in to the quantum financial system. If you watch my video yesterday, I showed you how... Oh yeah, he's talking about the quantum financial system. Yes, the QFS system, which to me was kind of a red flag. JP Morgan's been operating on the blockchain for four years. The wealthy clients can move money 24-7 at the speed of light at very low cost, but the working poor has to use a wire transfer. Think about that for just a moment financial freedom right interesting enough we created this monetary system that if you have more money you get access to more things that allow things to be easier in life it's just the system that we all created wars everything is neutral we created the system wars the key is we didn't create the system we accepted the system there's a huge difference if we're talking about the current banking system not cryptocurrencies you see jp morgan Rockefellers, Rothschilds, you know the story. What is that, the book, uh, The Monster of Jekyll Island? When the bankers really moved themselves into power. So we're headed towards the last month of 2021, a year that saw the cryptocurrency market reaching all time highs, both in overall market cap and asset prices. Investors at the digital ecosystem are now looking for signals of what to expect in 2022 and onward as the industry matures. That's the key factor. As it matures, you're going to start to see the price appreciation slow down, Warriors. So this is the time. I think I feel like the next bull run is going to be your last chance to have these massive price appreciations. It will stabilize like the stock market once regulation gets its hands in it. Yeah, I agree with that. That's what I was saying. You see these volatility swings, but you have to look at cryptocurrencies like stocks. Eventually, they'll just level out. They will go up and down in big dips depending on what's going on in the world, obviously. Just like stocks did. Um, but it says, will XRP still the show? JP Morgan reported report sent to investors earlier this month put XRP in the SEC Ripple lawsuit under the spotlight and conducted that a win would put the crypto asset on the road to Main Street adoption. If you look right down here, you can see this. Ripple has successfully accelerated its global expansion this year despite fears that the lawsuit could cause hesitancy amongst institutional partners. Now, it seems that the blockchain's firm will be hiring a few hundred in 2022. On top of that, the XRP ledger has just had a game changer upgrade that took a year to come into effect and is likely to strengthen its appeal. In the world. Uh, this is really cool. So this is from Ripple. Oh, did it start over on us here? Okay, so I'm going to have to do some work here the ripple drop machine learning on ripple net developers building the xr xrpl and cbdc on the xrp ledger so let me start this really quick cbdc cbdc the central bank digital currency you know the central bank you know the same evil people 
that we're supposed to be getting away from? You know, did you guys forget? No, it didn't start over. Okay, perfect. So we're going to watch this uh, video right here where they talk about uh, CBDCs. And this is Ripple's team, actual Ripple's team. And they're going to talk about CBDCs wars. They literally are going to take over the banking system. JP Morgan, JPM Coin, and Ripple XRP are going to take over the banking system. Well, well now, I do believe I said that. That is their goal. The new SWIFT 2.0, remember? The new world order cryptocurrency. James, can you explain what a central bank digital currency or CBDC is and how it can be used? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, CBDC or central bank digital currency, the, the clue is in the name, right? So it's central bank digital currency. Um, basically, it's uh, digital currency is issued by a central bank. So the same way as, you know, in the U.S., the Federal Reserve issues cash, they will be issuing digital uh, money instead, but backed by the central bank. And that's the backing by the central bank is really important. You know, it's got several different use cases that we'll be looking at. You know, one is settlement between banks that goes through the central bank. Um, retail payments. You know. That goes through the central bank. You know, the very same people that we were supposed to try to get away from. Just reminding you. Retail payments being, you know, the obvious one that people, everyone knows about is cash. So this would be a digital version of cash that would replace cash over time. This will replace cash over time. And we know what that means. Remember Turtle? You know, you heard what he said. The CBDC will replace cash over time. We'll be 100% digital. And I keep re bringing this guy up, Turtle, to remind you guys exactly what he's telling you. Listen. Our analysis on CBDC in particular for the use of general, to the general use uh, we tend to establish the equivalence with cash, uh, and there is a huge difference there. Uh, for example, in cash, uh, we don't know, for example, who is using a $100 bill today. We don't know who is using a 1,000 peso bill today. Uh, a key difference in, with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that uh, expression of central bank liability. They will create the policies and procedures that will absolutely control the central bank liability. You are the liability. In other words, when you deposit your money to the bank, you become the liability to the bank because they owe you that money technically. So they're going to create the policies and procedures on what you can do with your money. Let me just rewind it a little bit. So you can hear him. A one hundred dollar bill today. We don't know who is using a one thousand peso bill today. Uh, a key difference in with the CBDC is that central bank will have absolute control on the rules and regulations that will determine the use of that. Absolute control to determine the use of your money. That's what the liability is he's about to say. So they're going to have absolute control of what you can do with your money. So if you don't get the jab, guess what? You don't have access to your money. See how this works? You speak out against the government, they take away your money. You owe money on child support, they'll just take it. People are already having their money garnished and out of bank accounts. You have your money taken out of your payroll for money that you might owe. They will control. You just heard them. They will control your money expression of central bank liability and also we will have the technology to enforce that and they will have the technology to enforce their will on you thank you turner man you just heard what this guy says and eventually the cbdc will replace cash um they're also central banks you know their main mission in life is really financial stability in the country and, and fiscal policy so they're looking to make sure they can no, no, it's not. Every crisis that we ever had since the beginning of the, or the early part of the 1900s, when it comes to economic issues, has been caused by the central banks. So they're not looking for stabilities. They cause all these problems. Every time a major crash happens, they come out and they make promises that they'll fix them, and they promise to be good boys and girls all over again. Remember, like in 2008, to too big to fail to the banks, we bailed them out. And they're going, oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to pass a law. We're going to say we can no longer bail out banks. See, we care about you. Yay, let me pat you on your back, sucker. I mean, friend. 
Yay. See, this is the sneakiness of politicians. They tell you they're going to pass these laws to protect you, and they go, look, we can no longer bail out banks. And you think that's a good thing. But then what they don't tell you in that same law that was passed, banks are allowed to do what's called a bail-in. Yes, a bail-in is when they take your money right out of the account. So it's not even taxpayers paying out of your taxes. They just take your damn money straight out of the bank. Yes. And if you're doing a CBDC and something happens again, you don't even have the option to run in there, take your money out before they do a bail-in. You can't get your money. They could just take it from you and go, oh, well, it was for the good of saving our economy. And you're a patriot because you helped save our country from crashing. Too bad, so sad. And there's nothing you could do about it. So that's really important to understand warriors. They want to maintain control, regulate, right? This is what the, the, it's all about bringing in the new Howie test. I'm telling you, they're using Ripple in America to bring in the new Howie test. They're all locked arm in arm behind the scenes. Warriors. Yes, they are. All them new world order people locked arm in arm. And this guy's proud to let you know that. Okay. So think about this for just a moment. Okay. So Ripple is part of the World Economic Forum. What? The World Economic Forum? Did you say the World Economic Forum? The Great Reset? The New World Order? They tell you they are the New World Order. World Economic Forum. The Great Reset. And this guy's pumping you up. Yeah, man. Let's go hand in hand with the New World Order. The partnership, right? Brad Garlinghouse is on the cryptocurrency committee for the World Economic Forum. That's not surprising. I told you, XRP Ripple are the New World Order. They're a huge part of it. They are all connected behind the scene. Hyperledger. Behind the scene? No, they're pretty much out there and open. Consensus. I could go on and on. I've showed you all the connections. Wars. You see the players moving in the game. Well, let's look at the World Economics Forum document that they just put out. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do that. Top here so you can see what I'm. <laughs> let's do that because those people still think I'm lying about the XRP doing being the new World Order coin. Let's go ahead and go to the World Economic Forum. I'm looking at here. So this is a digital currency governance consortium white paper okay. put out by the World Economic Forum. They're always putting these things out. Hey, there it is. Reports. So sure enough, it tells you World Economic Forum. Digital Currency Governance Consortium, why papers? This is for November 2021. Heck, that's this month. This is the uh, November 2021, okay? If you type in, guess what's in here? XRP. They're not talking about other digital currencies, Warriors. It says additional recommendations, potential for privately created digital assets to facilitate CBDCs. Existing private ledger sector blockchain-based digital assets could potentially assist in the facilitation of cross-border wholesale interbank CBDC payments and transactions. Example include the utility settlement of USC and XRP digital asset. Such assets may serve as a bridge currency in cross-border payments. Before experimenting with such digital assets, policymakers should have a clear understanding of the value add they could provide from an economic and technical perspective. Considering both pre-existing or alternative solutions and limitations or downsides. So that's what this is all about. You heard him. There's only one cryptocurrency being mentioned. XRP. On the paperwork from the World Economic Forum, otherwise known as the New World Order. The very people that you all wanted to get away from are the very people who are partnering up with XRP. This guy's happy. He's using this as a selling point. He's like, dude, this is why we got to get on XRP. Man, if that guy was trying to push this crap as far back as even where we at even five years ago, people would have jumped all over him because the whole purpose of cryptocurrencies was to have an alternative platform in which we could send money back and forth to one another, buy items, keep the government out of our damn business, peer to peer, total anonymity, no taxes, no regulations, just leave us alone. About this is what this, uh, this, this uh, crypto forum is all about warriors. They're all working together. They're, it's already built. They're already using these technologies, right? 
It's already built. It's already set. They're all figuring out behind the scenes how to regulate this. We've seen all this, Warriors. Like, this is March 3rd, 2021. Ripple pilots a private ledger for central banks launching CBDCs. Ripple. XRP. For who? The central banks. You know, the central bank, the very people that we call the Illuminati and the New World Order. You know, those people, in case you forgot. Ripple Liquidity Hub. This one right here was it for me. This was it for me. 20,022 Warriors, they are launching the Liquidity Hub for enterprises. Do you realize what this means for banks, Warriors? Having Do you guys realize what it means for banks, Warriors? <laughs> banks, isn't that what you guys wanted to get away from? To create your own ecosystem, your own banking system away from bankers? A deep understanding of how the banking system works is they're in a liquidity crisis. When they can get money to move at the speed of light, what they're going to do, Warriors, banks are just going to become fee. That's all. They, they're going to make their money off fees. Interest rates are going to go up, so people are not going to be borrowing. Do you really believe that? That's just it. They're just going to bit sit there and make money off fees. It starts off that way. Then they start going, well, wait a minute. What are other ways we can screw people over? That's what they do. The way to everything is mass adoption, mass awareness. People get get lollybied into this. You're like, hey, this isn't too bad. It's kind of cheap. Then the next thing you know, the government's like, oh, you know, uh, we need to do this because it helps the banks. Okay. And what's to stop them from doing a bail-in? And what's to stop the bankers and the government from just taking your money? Even if they do it for no dang reason. I know people are like, oh, they wouldn't do it for no reason. No, I get that. But that's the point. How could you stop them? You need something outside of the system, like gold and silver. To keep money moving in the system and to make banks profitable, what they need to do is they need to create a higher fee structure. Well, the overdraft fees laws have changed, right? So they can't overdraft you into oblivion anymore. So they need to create a higher fee structure. Get that? What you're going to do is you're not going to know how cheap it is to send money. There's going to be a huge profit margin from how much they get charged to move the money across the rails and they'll charge you for the customer service. So that's where this massive profit margin will come from. And if they can move money at the speed of light 24 seven. First of all, he's using the magic words, profit margin, any company that's out there, what is their goal? What is their overall goal to increase their profit margins to make more profits? And how do you do that? You usually make more profits by sacrificing quality of work in services seven because the wealthy clients are already doing that if you can move money at the speed of light the bank that's more convenient the bank that has the best marketing is going to do the best and they're going to hold in custody your cryptocurrency they're in the game already warriors so they know that the masses are going to trust you see what he's saying the the bank that's holding your cryptocurrencies that's holding your cryptocurrencies so don't you hold them in your own wallet bank of america they're going to trust wells fargo they're going to trust chase they know that the general public isn't going to want to become their own bank. People don't. They don't? Do you hear what this guy's saying? You don't want to become your own bank. Yes, you do. What I don't need is a bank. How about this? I'll just treat my crypto wallet as my wallet. My money is in there. Whenever I see something that I want, I can take my crypto like my money out and give it to the individual on the opposite side that I choose to. No bank needed. No bank needs to hold my cryptocurrency. There's no reason for them to pay attention to what I'm doing. It's none of their dang business. Do you see what I'm talking about? What do you mean be my own bank? What would be the purpose of not wanting to be my own bank, first of all? But second of all, what would be the need of being a bank? They don't want responsibility wars. They don't want to do what we're doing. They don't want to have you know, a DeFi loan. They don't want to be their own bank. People want somebody else to manage their money. It's just... <laughs> Do you want other people managing your money, warriors? Who do you trust more with your money? A bank, the government, or you? I'll let you have a little time. That might take a little time to think about, so you might want to pause here. You know what I mean? You might want to pause and take some time to think about that answer. Who do you want controlling your money? The bank, the government, or you? Pause here before you answer. <laughs> how it is wars i know it seems like for us that doesn't make sense but for regular everyday people they want people to manage their money they want yeah this guy is pushing xrp 
the Great Reset sends out people like this. They're YouTube influencers to push people into mass adoption. Want to go to a big institution. They trust the big institutions. It's been predicted, programmed into them. And the big institutions know that. And they oh, yeah, we trust them, right? Like Lehman Brothers. Yeah, yeah, we trust them. The banks that were too big to fill. Those ones. J.P. Morgan, who has been busted several times for crimes of manipulating the market. You mean those big banks we trust? Those ones? Goldman Sachs? Busted for real estate scams? Yeah, yeah. Those are the big banks that we all trust, right, Warriors? They have the marketing to do it. They have the predictive programming. They own the media stations. And so they'll be able to get the people on board as quick as possible. And all these companies behind the scenes, Google, Verizon, T-Mobile, Walmart, all these huge companies, banks are all working together to move everybody onto this new system. It's a. Oh, yeah, he's right. Do you see that? Are you guys listening to this guy's words? That is XRP is the new world order. Oh, I'm loving this. Keep going. Tell me some more there, Doc. A, a, a planned out methodical process, Warriors. So it's beautiful. This is a beautiful. Yeah, this guy, I have a feeling, is working with the World Economic Forum. A well, methodical, laid out plan to crush the economy, cause the problems, cause chaos, and then offer us the solution. I don't need to play anymore. You guys can see for yourself. The Great Reset is even sending out letters telling everybody the partnership with the XRP and the CBDC is there. So again, here's my question to you. After you've seen all this, is there any doubt in your mind now that the XRP is the New World Order currency? You still support the New World Order coin? Isn't that who we're supposed to get away from? Anyways, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. Because when you do, it helps out the channel. And I surely do appreciate it. And I'll catch you later. I'm out.